This is a video of our titanium model 36 E41. It was custom built for us at the factory to our specs. We're walking in the entryway, there's the Davino, folds out to a bed. The dinette folds flat into a bed for her children. Up above are 120 volt lights both of those and then all along as you can see there are cabinets which are perfect for storing canned goods and all kinds of other things let's see what we have in there uh, they go all the way to the back underneath are fluorescent lights for energy savings power outlet part of the surround sound speakers and the rest of the surround sound is up in the ceiling. There's one, two, three speakers. Smoke detector. Air conditioner. Fluorescent lights. It's centrally ducted, so there's one of the ducts for the air conditioning. Coming down to the entertainment center. It is a radio, DVD player. Um, surround sound up in the cabinet are the controls for the WineGuard Amplified Video Distribution Center and that has capabilities far beyond me. Satellite TV, auxiliary, antenna, VCR, etc. and multiple units front and back of the coach. You can do a lot of things that we just never did with it. In the back is the inverter switch so you can run the TV off of the batteries. There is a blemish in the lamination where we had a tape marker and took the tape off not knowing it would pull the lamination off so fortunately that is closed and covered uh, 26 inch or 27 not sure TV and underneath are the washer and dryer hookups as you can see uh, the cold water hot water and electricity we never use the washer and dryer, there's the drains, the gray tanks underneath. Uh, we just use this as storage and I built this pull-out shelf once the cabinet doors are all the way open. A pull-out shelf that we put our computer printer on. On this corner of the wall there's a plug as you can see. We had a bookcase. And the bookcase was attached to the top. That's where those three holes are. That is for a bracket that was hidden by the bookcase. We still have the bookcase so that could be put back on if someone wants it. The slide out is what we're looking at right now. And out the windows. They are thermopane, dual pane windows. Uh, as you can see there's both incandescent and fluorescent lights which are, are handy if the uh, power is low the incandescence will still work they'll just be dim whereas the fluorescence will go out when the voltage drops to a certain point also the fluorescence are temperamental to cold so they don't turn on real bright what you see on the wall here is merely a hanger that we had a calendar hanging from and backing up I want to show you the rest of the kitchen Oh, while we're looking at it that's the central vacuum system and the heat uh, duct for the heater but in the central vac all you do to activate it is lift it open and it will turn on automatically when it's connected to power inside the shelf is where the vacuum unit is with hoses and uh, accessories back to the kitchen where the refrigerator is now was an entry door in the original design of the titanium they had an entry door there and the refrigerator was where these cabinets are as you see here that is the pantry so we had the pantry custom built with top to bottom shelves very deep and above a little custom 
custom built shelf that I did just to separate that huge space which is completely removable uh, up above another huge space and I built a little shelf on that refrigerator freezer 10 square 10 cubic feet lots of drawer shelf drawers or what do you call it uh, door space refrigerator lots of door space as well interior space that is a fan with batteries that I put at the bottom of the refrigerator to help circulation when we're underway the microwave is a combination convection and micro it is I think 30 inches I'm not sure it's very large there's a candle in it at the moment put that in the center turntable etc etc lights underneath um, fan night light um, multi-speed fan all kinds of things the range top has three burners as you can see oven store some pans in there when we're traveling underneath the oven big deep drawer good for big pans and pots and things like that drawers under the cabinet space oh instructions and things from the factory never looked at never read water filter system for the cold water at the tap is right there water filter system for the rest of the unit is external double sink cutting board cutting board fits over perfectly slides to cover either side there are drapes uh, right here Venetian blind types that pull down there's light underneath here from these hooks we had a hanging fruit basket and of course we added the paper towel dispenser big cabinet in the corner as you can see extra towel up there I didn't know about oh, more cupboards and for the kitchen area because this coach was built for full-time living we had a lot of storage put in in this space here, I'm going to back up so we're standing where the bookcase was, uh, is room for a chair, a recliner. That is the intake for the heater, and that's one of the exhausts for the heater and the other one's over here. Above this space, uh, well, we added coat hooks, as you can see on the wall is extra cabinets that they had not done before so those are all the way deep cabinets all the way to the back with a light overhead for reading if you're sitting in the chair that I took out that is no longer there um, over this spot the laminate is a little bit peeled off because I have a clock that goes there and when I took the clock off it ripped that off so I have to put the clock back on to cover that up heading into the bath the back room now let me back up a little bit and describe what we did originally it had a door here as you can see and a door here this was this side was a bedroom and that side was what they considered a bedroom we didn't like that we wanted more floor space so we closed the one door off and opened it all up right what you're looking at now is a double pull wardrobe it used to be a bunk bed, a set of bunk beds, which you'll see on the other side in a minute. So instead, we had these huge drawers put in and the double pole wardrobe, which I will open and show you. The 
Both sides are like that. That is a hatch to the outside, which I'll show you from the outside, but that entire space uh, can be opened up from the outside, however it is locked and alarmed. On this back wall, there are dressers, as you can see, uh, electrical outlet and cable TV outlet, large emergency escape window, above our cabinets more storage space. I don't know what the kids have in here. Well, let's take a look. Nothing. Underneath, torpedo lights and speakers. There are two speakers that I had put in that go to that wire there. That wire is simply an RJ, I think it's called RJ41 connector, plugs into any iPod or anything, it's a standard standard connector. And that way the uh, you can have music back here. This is a 12 volt outlet with cable and another electrical outlet. That is a uh, carbon monoxide sensor, which is actually just sitting there at the moment. Underneath is the furnace for the back bedroom, and this is a desktop, however, as you can see, you cannot put your legs underneath it, so what we did down here was we used as a bookcase. So shelves and books were put in there. The other uh, wardrobe, or a dresser I should say, with another cable outlet, don't know why they need three in one room. And TV. Well, I know why, because this used to be one bedroom, and that would be for the other bedroom, and they put that one there because they figured a big TV would probably go right here, which I guess it could. Now, over to the bunk beds. On the other slide out is the bunk beds, and as you can see, windows. Uh, this bunk bed here, this latch, allows this bed to lift up and lock in. Well, without the pad, it locks in. So it opens this entire area up. I don't know if you can see this. I'm trying to hold it up and show you. Uh, that is a LED light for the bottom bunk. And facing to the front of the ca front of the trailer, there's more picture hangers, hooks, and a thermometer that says it is 37 degrees in here, and the thermostat. That is the back bedroom. Oh, let me show you the front to the front door. Oh, there I am. So all total, this space is, I'm guesstimating, well I could count the tiles, one, two, three, four, five tiles, so five feet across, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, roughly eight wide. So big floor space, great uh, playing area for kids if you have them. And back to the uh, coach. Oh, above head, uh, overhead is a ceiling fan and the uh, antenna. Put the antenna up. Uh, more air conditioner ducts. Uh, fantastic fan. There's also a fantastic fan in the back bedroom I didn't show you. Um, with a shade over it to keep it dark. Shut that. And standing in the kitchen now, looking at the back bedroom. The design of this is such that you look straight into the vanity. Oh, here are the controls for the vent. Fantastic fan vent and thermostat and light switch. And uh, 
This is the wardrobe slide out for the master bedroom. On the left side are cabinet, drawers, and a linen closet. Towel hook, dragonfly towel hook, a couple of those, uh, and let me back up so you can see the entire shower. Corner shower, a lot of room in it. Connector, hose, actually is down because it usually does fall out while traveling. Um, it is one of those oxygenators, oxygenating type of shower heads, so it sprays out much harder than uh, normal. A um, skylight overhead. And into the toilet room. There's a real porcelain toilet. We added this cabinet. It was custom built for us uh, overhead here. There's lots of space. Fan up above naturally. Towel hooks. And that is about it for the toilet I guess. Uh, bedroom. Standard queen size bed. I believe that's 60 by 80. Lots of cabinet space in here. Uh, lots of storage over overhead in the corners. Uh, carbon monoxide sensor over there. Drawer. Place to sit when you're getting ready in the morning. Uh, double pull. Wardrobe. Nope, not a double pole, single pole for the uh, ladies' clothes. Uh, shelf for shoes underneath. We reinforced this, found out the hard way, that the factory poles do not stand up to uh, full weight of clothes while traveling across uh, the roads of America. So that is a galvanized steel pipe and uh, oak board support that so now looking sitting in the bed and looking towards the back of the coach there's a wardrobe mirror and some shelves small TV and dresser large emergency escape window great view of the bedroom except for at the moment we're in a storage yard over here is cabinet drawer little step and this is actually a hidden uh, compartment built into the step underneath the bed is all storage just lift the bed up and that whole space is storage and that is the inside oh one more thing the ref, uh, air conditioner and heat pump we had installed uh, above head here over